Welcome back, everybody. You're listening to Westchester Talk Radio, produced by Shark Creative and made possible by Entergy, Indian Point Energy Center, La Polis Electric, White Plains Hospital, High Tower Westchester, Wartburg, and Park Sterling Realty. And how appropriate we have with us today the president and principal broker of Park Sterling Realty, and that is Leah Caro. No stranger to us. Leah, um, it's nice to see you. Welcome. Thank you. Nice to see you. You know, I want to um, switch roles here for a moment because typically you host your own podcast, Talking Real Estate with Leah Caro, which we love. Uh, but today you are a guest on our show here called Isolation Therapy. And this happens to be Isolation Therapy episode number nine. Uh, and Leah, we, you know, we thought what a, I guess, appropriate opportunity to reach out to you to talk about the market, uh, the real estate market, that is. And clearly with everything going on, um, I mean, it's just a, a whirlwind out there. Uh, why don't we just dive right in and tell our listeners and your followers um, what, what can be expected right now and what, what kind of advice, if any, you can give people. Tell us what's sure. happening. What's happening on the front lines sure. in real estate? Well, I can tell you that um, 2020 started off terrifically. Uh, the weather cooperated beautifully. Thank you, Mother Nature. And though you know COVID-19 had started to rear its ugly head in other parts of the world, the real estate market hadn't yet felt its impact here in Westchester County. And we were, for all intents and purposes, really staged to have a robust spring with buyers out there buying and sellers getting their properties ready and putting them on the market. And in certain segments of the marketplace, um, people paying um, above asking and competitive bidding. And it was, it was really uh, um, poised to be a great spring. Mm. And then what, what, uh, Corona. Um, it's, been a, it's been a real challenge for the real estate market in that, uh, and I get it, by the way, when the executive order first came down from, from the governor, the realtors and or licensees and um, all of their kind of associated vendors, appraisers and inspectors and things like that were all considered non-essential. Now, by the way, I get that. You know, I would never want to be out there conducting business and creating any problems for our frontline workers who really, really are the essentials in all of this on um, the doctors For sure and, and those are really the people that matter that being said you know real estate fuels the economy um, mm -hmm. and buyers who want to buy have reasons for, to move on with their lives and sellers who need to sell and so there's and a lot of those aren't just because they feel like buying and feel like selling they have important things happening in their lives so that was frustrating uh, but but we pivoted uh, and we thought okay we're we're banned from having face-to-face client contact, but that doesn't necessarily mean we put, have to put the whole market on hold. So what we are doing is a couple of things. One is we have virtual tours in place for many of our properties. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. I'm sure you're doing a lot more virtual. Um, well, the ones showings. that were already, are, well, the ones that were already in place and already recorded, if you will, videos and things like that before the shutdown um, are They're there. I, so you can use there. them. <laughs> um, there was about a three week period where we weren't even uh, able to go into properties, so to create one if we hadn't already created it. But that's in the last week and a half. Uh, the governor amended the executive order a little bit, which was a good thing, which said there's still no face-to-face -face client contact. However, if a agent wants to go into a property um, and the seller will vacate the property and wants to FaceTime the property with a buyer, we can do that. Okay. Uh, if the seller is willing to you, allow- So you can do that right now? We can do that right now. Yep. Right now, if a buyer said to me, Leah, I want to get into a property. Now, a couple things have to happen, and this is all for the public good, and I'm totally on board with that. We do have a liability waiver that we are um, asking all the buyers and sellers and inspectors and appraisers to an agents, other agents, to sign before they enter a property. Because let's face it, just because we can doesn't mean we should, right, in this mm -hmm. kind of climate. Um, so we want everybody to be aware of the inherent risks of continuing of to get out there and do stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but we can have buyers enter properties by themselves and FaceTime with their agent who's outside. We can have agents go in and FaceTime with their buyers who are offsite. Um, we are, you know, we are, working out ways to keep the social distancing requirement in effect and all the disinfecting and all of that 
but still letting people see property. Yeah. Okay. So you do, so there is some activity. Are your agents, how many agents do you have, by the way? Oh, I have a, 52, 52, 52 agents. Yeah. We're, okay. we're a big little company, big little company. Um, so of those 52 agents, are they, I can't say that every one of them would be necessarily showing, but are they, are they active in some capacity? Are they doing it virtually or are they doing this situation where they can go in, um, it time. depends. It depends on the agent. Um, we have office, we have zoom office meetings, um, you know, every week, sometimes twice a week. Uh, the funny part of that is we used to have in-person office meetings and the turnout was good, but now mm -hmm. turnout's great. So I'm yeah. thinking of when this is all over, just doing zoom. Right. Office great. Meetings. I tell you that as we're talking, the zoom stock just keeps going up and up, right? Absolutely. <laughs> I should have bought it, you know, two months ago. Um, uh, yeah, look, we're, we're pivoting too. we're doing all these things via zoom. Yeah, you know, it, it has its place. I have to say it really does. So it does. Um, Leo, what, what, else, what else do you want to leave um, our listeners and your followers with? What other I advice guess, you know, could you give them? What if patience you're, what if is a virtue. I'm going to start by saying pace, patience is a virtue. And I mean that um, from top to bottom. Patience with um, our federal, state and local governments in what they deem to be um, time to open and not open. I really think we all need to think about the greater good. Um, and that it can't all be about us. That being said, making sure that your expectations are managed, whether it's me and some one of my agents or an agent from another company, uh, you know, kind of laying out the framework ahead of time of how this might go down. What are the wrenches that could get thrown? I mean, wrenches get thrown into real estate transactions every day, but now more than ever, there's a million moving parts. So to find out how can we manage those moving parts and um, make it work in this environment, if at all. And we, can, and we are making it work. Um, but really, it's you know, communication, managing expectations, understanding the process, and understanding what can go wrong. Mm -hmm. All right. So real estate in general. Yeah, okay. Well, look, Leah, um, we just wanted to, to get a little slice of talking real estate with you. Um, you, again, are you also are the co-chair of the Board of Directors of Westchester Residential Opportunities. I know that you're the president of the Bronxville Chamber of Commerce. On top yeah. of being, of course, the president, principal broker of Park Sterling Realty, the host of Talking Real Estate, and many, many other things. You wear many hats down there in Bronxville and in Westchester beyond. So we wanna thank you for all of your efforts. Um, and look, it's gonna be, like you say, you have to have patience, um, but we will get through this. And you know, hopefully we can get back to that robust economy and you know, people can look for those homes the way they were planning for, and you could be right, right there by their side. So again, thank you so much, Leah Caro. Andrew, thank you for checking in with yeah, me. And yeah. I hope to be back with you soon. Yes, we, we hope so as well. Again, you're listening to Westchester Talk Radio, produced by Shark Creative, made possible by Entergy, Indian Point Energy Center, La Polis Electric, White Plains Hospital, High Tower, Westchester, Wartburg, and Park Sterling Realty. We'll be back with another episode of Isolation Therapy coming up soon. Take care. Bye, Leah. Bye.